Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video ay pag-uusapan naman po natin ang percentage calculation tricks. Para at least hindi po masayang yung oras ninyo when you take any government examinations, especially the civil service exam. Na hindi po masayang yung oras sa kakamanual calculation. So at least uh, makakatulong ito sa inyo para mas mapadali ang pag-solve ninyo when it comes to percentage problems. Okay, first technique. Kapag kukunin natin yung percentage ng kahit na anong number, kailangan lang po nating gawin is i-move yung decimal point from one place to another. Let's take an example. What is the 10% of 950? So if titingnan natin yung mga numbers, it is quite obvious na yung tamang sagot is 95. Bakit? Kasi kapag kukunin natin yung percentage ng 950, kung ilan daw yung 10%, ang kailangan lang nating gawin is i-move yung decimal place from right to left. So, 950, we have 1. Bakit 1 movement? Kasi, ang 10 is may 1, 0. So, kapag 1, 0 lang, isang 0 lang siya, we need to move 1 decimal place. Let's take a look at another example. What is the 10% of 720? So, if we try to observe the numbers... It is very quite obvious na yung sagot is 72. Why? Because again, we need to move the decimal point from right to left. So we have 1. We have 72. Another one. What is the 10% of 516? So we need to move again 1 decimal place. So we have 51.6. And that is the 10% of 516. Please take note na ang tricks na ito ay applicable lamang sa pagkuha ng 10% ng kahit na anong number. Again, bakit nga po tayo nag-move ng one place value from right to left? Kasi yung 10% nga is may isang zero lang. So that means we need to move from right to left ng isang movement. We need to move the decimal point from right to left. Last example. What if kukunin natin yung 10% ng 26? So ano kaya yung sagot? Yes, since imu-move pa rin natin siya from right to left ng one movement or one decimal place, so ang tamang sagot is 2.6. Hope yung first trick natin ay nakatulong sa inyo kung paano nga ba magkuha ng 10% ng any number without a calculator or without solving yung manual multiplication. Next trick, what if kukunin naman natin yung 20% of any number? Ang tanong, same process pa rin ba? Same pa rin ba yung pamamaraan na mag-move from right to left? Hindi na po. Since alam na natin kung paano kumuha ng 10% of any number, so magagamit natin ang tricks na yon dito sa pangalawang tricks, which is kukunin yung 20% of any number. So ibig sabihin nito, para makuha natin yung 20% of a number, ang una natin gagawin is kunin muna natin yung 10%. Tapos yung result, ita times 2 lang po natin. Kasi 10%, of course, dalawang 10%, 20%. So yung result, we need to multiply by 2. So let's say for example, um, 20% of 520. What do you think is the answer? Without grabbing a calculator, the correct answer is 104. Bakit 104? Di ba ang 10% ng 520 is 52? Since we move one place value from right to left. So, yung 52, we will multiply it by 2, kasi 20%. So, 52 times 2, and that is 104, since 20% yung kailangan natin. Again, ang technique dito, kunin mo na yung 10%, tapos ita times 2 na lang yung result, kasi 20% naman yung kailangan sa tricks na ito. Another example, how about if we have... 20% of 850. What is the answer? So, madali na lang po ito kapag alam nyo na kung paano kumuha ng 10% ng isang number. So, kapag nakuha nyo na yung 10%, multiplied by 2 lang yung result, then that's already a 20%. Kasi syempre, 20%, dalawang tigti 10%, di ba? So, for this example, 10% of 850 is 85. Then, times 2, that is 170. Therefore, ang tamang sagot dito is 170. So, mamimental calculate muna. Another example, how about if we have 20% of 21,000? What do you think is the answer? Without grabbing any calculator. Again, 
get first the 10%, so we have one movement, so it's 2,100. Then multiply it by 2, so we have 4,200. So the correct answer is 4,200. Last example for this trick. So what is the 20% of 95? What is the answer? So again, get the 10%. So 10% 10 of 95 is 9.5. Then times 2, so we have 19. So the correct answer is 19. So kapag na-master mo na kung paano kumuha ng 10%, 20% of any number, napakadali na lang po yung 30%, 40%, 50%, and so on. Kasi kapag kukunin mo yung 30%, of course, nasa isip mo, ah, tatlong tigti 10% lang yan. So kapag kukunin mo naman yung 40%, sasabihin mo na naman, ah, apat lang yan na tigti 10%. So napakadali na lang kapag nakuha mo na ang 10% of a number. So ito ha, halimbawa, if ever kukunin natin yung 30% of 250, so yung 10% ng 250 is diba 25. So of course, 30% times 3 lang ng 25. So the 30% of 250 is therefore 75. So another example, if we will get the 30% of 400, so diba ang 10% is 40. So 30% yung kailangan natin, so times 3 lang ng 40, so that is 120. Therefore, yung 30% ng 400 is 120. So, isang tabi nyo na po yung mga scratch papers ninyo. Hindi na po yan kailangan dito kasi ang kailangan lang po is mental calculation para walang oras na masasayang sa anumang government examinations. How about the 50%? Of course, yung 50%, napakadali lang po niyan kasi kukunin mo lang yung kalahati ng number. Example, kukunin mo yung 50% ng 300, of course, kalahati nun is 150. And that is the 50% of 300. Madali lang po yung 50%, syempre, kalahati lang ng number yung kukunin mo. Example again, 50% uh, of 500. So, yung 50%, kalahati nun is 250. And that is the 50% of 500. What if sir, kukunin naman yung 60% ng isang number? So madali lang yan. Kunin mo na yung 10% at saka 50%, i-add mo na lang yung dalawa. So halimbawa, 50% of 500. So diba 250? So kunin mo na again yung 10% ng 500 and that is 50. I-add mo yung dalawa which is 250 and 50 and that is 300. Therefore, ang 60% ng 500 is 300. Ganun lang po, mental calculation na lang. So another example for 60%, uh, what is the 60% of 800? So again, kunin mo na yung kalahati which is 50% and that is 400. Tapos kunin naman yung 10% ng 800 which is 80. I-add mo yung dalawa, 400 at saka 80. Therefore, the correct answer is 480. So you can try this one para ma-practice mo yung sarili in solving percentage problem with mental calculation. Last example. What is the 60% of 90? First, kunin mo na ang 50% ng 90 which is 45. Tapos, kunin ang 10% ng 90 which is 9. And 45 plus 9 is 54. Therefore, ang 60% ng 90 is 54. So, let's try another example. What is the 16% of 50? So, ano kaya ang sagot dito? Ano sa palagay nyo? So, para mas madali siya, syempre, mahirapan kasi tayo kapag 16% of 50, tapos mental calculation lang, medyo mahirap talaga siya. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Ganito, pagbalik na rin natin ang pwesto, yung percentage na sign, what if sabihin nating 50% of 16? Ang tanong, same answer nga lang ba? Yes, same answer lang po. Ibig sabihin ang 16% of 50 and 50% of 16 ay same answer lang. So gamit ito, mas madali po nating mamental calculate yung 50% of 16 kasi yung 50% is just half of the number or kalahati. So ibig sabihin ang kalahati ng 16 is just 8, ibig sabihin yung 16% of 50 is also equal to 8. So, ang ibig sabihin pala nito, kahit na pagbalik na rin natin ang pwesto, yung percentage na sign, same lang po ang sagot nila. Okay, let's take a look at another example. What is the 23% of 200? 
So let's try yung technique natin kanina na pagbalik ta rin ng pwesto yung percentage. So what if sabihin nating 200% of 23. So di ba ang 100% ng 23 is just 23. So ibig sabihin ang 200% ng 23 is 46. Ibig sabihin times 2. So therefore, ang sagot sa 200% of 23 is 46. And therefore, ang 23% of 200 is also 46. Another one. What is the 38% of 150? Okay, pagbalik na rin na naman natin ang pwesto. So what if sabihin nating 150% of 38, what do you think is the answer? Diba pag sinabi nating 150%, ibig sabihin isa at kalahate. So yung 38, dagdaga natin ng kalahate ng 38. So 38 kalahate is 19. Therefore, 38 plus 19, ang sagot is 57. So kapag sinabi nating 38% of 150, also 57. Okay, let's have last example. What is 18% of 25? Okay, pagbalik na na naman natin. So, what if sabihin natin 25% of 18? In the first place, alam natin yung kalahati ng 18 is 9, which is the 50% of 18, no? 9. So, since kailangan natin is 25%, hatiin pa natin yung kalahati, yung 9. So, ibig sabihin, ang kalahati ng 9 is 4.5. So, ang 25% pala ng 18 is 4.5. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang 18% ng 25 is also 4.5. So, ayun, I hope na nakatulong na naman po ang video ito sa inyo para mapadali ang inyong pag-calculate sa mga percentage problem. And if you are looking for another videos like this, don't forget to watch or check our playlist. And also, you can watch this next. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.